Hello and Namaskaram everyone. Let's look at the origin of the muscles of anterior compartment of the leg. So in the anterior compartment of the leg there are four muscles. Tibialis anterior, extensor hallus is longus, extensor digitorum longus and fibularis tertius or peroneus tertius. There are four muscles in the front. How to remember the origin of these muscles? These muscles are originating from the leg bones, that is the tibia and the fibula. If you draw the tibia and the fibula and look at it from anterior, this is what it will look like. Here we have the tibial tuberosity from which extends the anterior border up to the anterior border of the medial malleolus. So between this anterior border and the interosseous border, you have a surface that is a lateral surface of the tibia. Similarly, on the fibula, you have an anterior border and an interosseous border. In between that is a medial surface of the fibula. So these two surfaces, the lateral surface of tibia and the medial surface of fibula, they form the boundaries of the anterior compartment of the leg. So all the muscles which are present in the anterior compartment, they are attached to these two surfaces. Now let's see how to remember the origin of the muscles. So here we have the lateral surface of the tibia which is divided into an upper two-third and a lower one-third. Now the only muscle that is originating from the tibia is the tibialis anterior. So the muscle that is originating from the tibia, the tibialis anterior, is attached to the upper two-third of the surface. So this region will be the origin of tibialis anterior muscle. Now what about the medial surface of the fibula? The medial surface of the fibula is divided into three. We have an upper one-fourth, a middle two-fourth and a lower one-fourth. This will be the upper one-fourth. Here will be the middle two-fourth and this is the lower one-fourth. So the key to remember the origin of the muscles is to remember how these surfaces are divided. If you look at the medial two-fourth, it is further divided into an anterior half and a posterior half. Since the surface is very small, I'll draw it magnified. So here what I am drawing is nothing but the medial surface of the fibula. As we said, it is divided into an upper one-fourth and the middle two-fourth and here we have the lower one-fourth. This middle two-fourth is further divided into an anterior half and a posterior half. Now we have other three muscles. All of them are originating from the medial surface of the fibula. From the upper one-fourth and the anterior half of the middle two-fourth originates extensor digitorum longus. Remember, the muscles which are attached to the fibula are the extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus and fibularis tertius. The middle two-fourth has a posterior half on which is attached the other muscle, the extensor hallucis longus. Now finally, we have the lower one-fourth which gives attachment to the last muscle, the peroneus tertius, also called as fibularis tertius. So here, if we divide the medial surface of the fibula, this will be the origin of 
fibularis tertius. So here we have the two surfaces. This muscle that is originating from the upper two third will be tibialis anterior. Whereas all the other three muscles, they are originating from the fibula. The muscle that is originating from the posterior half of the middle two fourth, that will be extensor hallucis longus. The muscle originating from the lower one fourth will be peroneus tertius or fibularis tertius. And the muscle that is originating from the upper one fourth and also the anterior half of the middle two fourth that will be extensor digitorum longus. Out of the four muscles, tibialis anterior is the only muscle that originate from the tibia. It arises from the lateral surface of the tibia. The lateral surface we divide into an upper two-third and a lower one-third. Tibialis anterior arises from the upper two-third of the lateral surface of tibia and it extends onto the adjoining parts of the lateral condyle and also the adjoining introsious membrane. Let's look at the next muscle, the extensor hallucis longus. So that is originating from the fibula. Which surface of fibula? The medial surface of the fibula. So all the other three muscles are arising from the medial surface of fibula. The medial surface of fibula we divide into an upper one-fourth, middle two-fourth and lower one-fourth. Out of this, extensor hallucis longus is arising from the middle two-fourth, the posterior half of the middle two-fourth of the medial surface of fibula and also from the adjoining introsious membrane. What about the next muscle, the extensor digitorum longus? This muscle arises from the entire upper one-fourth and a part of the middle two-fourth of this medial surface. The whole of upper one-fourth and anterior half of the middle two-fourth of the medial surface of fibula. The muscle which was arising from the posterior half of the middle two-fourth was extensor hallucis longus. So we have these two muscles. One is arising from the anterior half. The other is arising from the posterior half of the middle two-fourth. The last muscle, the small fibularis tertius. It is arising from the whole of lower one-fourth of the surface is arising from the whole of lower one-fourth of medial surface of fibula. So if you look at this, you can see the upper one-fourth, the middle two-fourth, where you have two muscles in the middle two-fourth, whereas in the lower one-fourth, there is only one muscle. If you find this video useful, subscribe to Club Anatomy for more such videos in the future. Have a great day. I'm Dr. Naveen signing off.